Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Before I get on to the subjects at hand, I would like to thank everyone on Facebook, all of my friends and family who have expressed their uh, condolences and sorrow over the loss of my longtime pet cat, Smokey. Uh, he was a uh, gray, he was a gray boy, and uh, he was my friend and companion for ten years. And it's just really uh, a major struggle getting over the fact that he's not going to be at the door to greet me every day when I come home anymore. And uh, that has been a, a very sad event here. And I just want to thank everybody who has expressed their their concerns and condolences and everything else. Um, uh, to me. It's all been wonderful and it's all been very helpful in helping me get over uh, his uh, tragic passing. So uh, thank you all. <clears throat> um, I still of course have my baby girl Matira who appears in these videos periodically, uh, most often in the window behind me. Uh, she is still here and uh, we're both coping with the loss of uh, one of our best friends. So. Now, I wanted to comment on the plane yet again, uh, the Malaysian Airlines 370 plane that uh, uh, apparently uh, just disappeared into uh, a great big vacuum. As I've said before, at this point in time, I don't really care what happened to that plane. The only thing I'm certain of is that there are authorities, there are intelligence agencies, there are the powers that be who know exactly where that fucking plane is and know exactly what, if anything, it's going to be used for if it is still intact somewhere. Uh, and this has served a great purpose by distracting people from a vast amount of activity going on around the world. Now, let me just say this before I say anything else. My heart goes out to the people who are the friends and family of those who were on that flight, left in limbo like this with no resolution to what has happened to their loved ones. I have a great deal of sympathy for these people and I really feel bad that they have no answers. Okay, And it's worse because the people in power know what happened to them. And whether they're alive or sadly dead, their fate is known by people in positions of power. And the fact that nothing is being relayed to these family and friends of these sad and unfortunate people is just a fucking travesty. Now... There's been some talk about Hillary running for president. Of course, it's been going on for years now, uh, in 2016. And recently there was a thing that came out about the State Department losing uh, a couple billion dollars. And, and somehow some people have pointed this out as being a, a you know, black mark against uh, Hillary running for president. Um, <clears throat> and I don't think it has any bearing on it whatsoever. If she's going to run, she's going to run. As I've said before, and I will say it again, if, if Jeb Bush runs, Jeb Bush will win. And uh, that's just the way it's going to be. Because we do not have elections, we have selections. And in that vein, I have some suggestions for the candidates in the, not only in this upcoming election that we have in 2014, the midterm elections for Congress, but also in general for the, uh, for the general election in 2016, and also some advice for the people who are going to be going out to the polls to vote. First of all, to the uh, GOP, the fucking cocksucker motherfucking Ayn Rand motherfucking jagoffs, here's my advice to you, you fucking piece of shit jackass motherfuckers. Especially Paul Ryan with your fucking piece of shit budget that you brought out. Make sure you keep doing more of that, you motherfucking... Oh, I just like to... You fucking sack of shit. Give more shit to the rich. Take more shit from the poor. Take away all of the social fucking programs. 
take away every fucking economic right that everybody in this motherfucking shithole despot fucking country has. Take it all away and keep taking it away with your Ayn Randian fucking bullshit and shove it all up your fucking ass and keep breaking in the cash from the now no limits on nothing to political campaigns, and you can keep going out there and sucking the dicks of everybody on fucking Wall Street that pours their fucking money into your fucking pants, buddy. Pour it on, because you know what? There are still fucking stupid motherfucking assholes that live in this fucking shithole that think there's a difference between you and the guy over there with a D in front of his fucking name. So, Little Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, Jeb Bush, all you guys, keep jumping on the same fucking stupid shit fucking positions that you've had because they've brought you nothing but fucking success. So I say ride the fucking wave, motherfucker. Shut the government down again. Hey, I got an idea for you. Uh, why don't you just dismantle Social Security altogether so that everybody who is existing on it now has to just, you know, lose their house and, and go live on the street? Because there are no jobs anywhere, and uh, you're going to have no plan to address that, just like always. So continue to attack the poor and continue to give more to the rich, because that's your ticket to fucking success. Because apparently there are people still in this fucking country that don't understand that they're being raped every motherfucking day by politicians who are owned and operated by fucking corporations and motherfucking banks. And I am so fucking sick of it that I can't even put into words what it is that I would fucking do to these motherfucking assholes who have shit for fucking brains who apparently still think there is some kind of difference. We're living in a fascist corporatocracy in this fucking country. Get the fuck over it. There is no difference between a Democrat and a fucking Republican. So, let's come to the Democrats, why don't we? Hillary Clinton and anybody else who wants to come up and uh, put their foot in it. Continue with your neoliberal bullshit. Continue with your flim-flammery backstabbing and fuckery because that's all you fuckers are good for just like the GOP pretending like they want to repeal Obamacare and pass and trying to pass legislation like 50 times to to repeal it in the last couple years all a smokescreen because they're getting big fucking piles of money from the motherfucking insurance industry in this country just as much as Obama and all of the Democrats. It's all a big fucking show. They're trying to pretend like this is something good that the Democrats have done for you by giving you Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act. By making you buy insurance that's too fucking expensive and doesn't cover fucking shit. That's all you fucking deserve is shit. The only people that deserve anything in this fucking country are the motherfucking top, buddy. And that's the only ones that ever get any fucking thing at all. And not only that, but when you work for Bank of America and you outright admit to laundering fucking drug cartel money on purpose, and you knew about it, and not one fucking person spends one fucking minute in goddamn jail over it, that tells you everything you need to know, because all you got to do is go down to your local prison and see who's in there. Petty thieves and crooks, and the vast majority of them are drug offenders of some kind. And the vast majority of them are black as well. That's the reality of the system that we have in this country. Every one of those people that are in prison, there ain't none of them. None of them that are multi-millionaires. There's not a single one that's a fucking billionaire. And you want to tell me, you want to tell me that none of them deserve to go to fucking jail? They need to go to fucking jail and they need to see the reality of the prison industrial complex in this motherfucking country. So Democrats, keep shoveling out your bullshit with your chain CPI on Social Security. Let's continue with 
the same hot button topics that cover every fucking election. Never mind that your economics, your fucking economic security, and your fucking future, when it comes to your own personal money, your job, your life, your home, your family, your friends, you have fucking nothing. You've been stolen from and raped. Do not talk about economics at all. Do not talk about economic rights. Do not talk about anything that's going to give money to anybody. Let's switch it all up to hot button issues like immigration reform. Oh, oh, it's so important. We've got to tackle this right now. Yeah, it's an important issue. But what's more important? You having a fucking job and being able to pay for fucking groceries so you can fucking eat rather than living on a goddamn street because you lost your fucking house because it was stolen from you from a fucking bank like Bank of America that launders drug cartel money. It doesn't have a single person go to fucking jail. How about if I go down to my local Bank of America motherfucking branch and I go in there and take some fucking money off of them? Hmm? Do you think I'm going to get a goddamn fine? No. My ass is going to be thrown in fucking jail. And that's where they need to be. So, continue with your non-economic issues. Don't talk about fucking jobs. Don't talk about restoring what was taken, what was stolen, what was fucking lost. Don't talk about busting up these too big to fail fucking bands. Don't talk about putting these motherfucking fraudster cocksuckers into fucking prison where they fucking belong. No, no, no. Let's talk about abortion and pro-choice. Let's talk about all of these issues that never get resolved but all they do is divide everybody, because that's what it's all about, divide and conquer. Don't anybody ever get together and decide that this whole bullshit system is fucked, and we need to get together and decide that something needs to be done about it. Personally, I'm not going to vote in any of these elections, because all of the candidates are shit, every fucking one of them. And if all I have is shit, that's offering a program of shit. I am not going to vote for the piece of shit that's trying to shove it down my fucking throat. So please let it unfold as I have just stated where everything is hot button issues and nobody has answers for anything, but God damn it, you can bet that at the end of the day, whoever is selected and put into those positions will continue to fucking rob you, to fucking rape you, and to continue to flow vast amounts of wealth in this country to the very fucking top who are untouchable motherfuckers and will not be held responsible for any fucking thing. But don't you do a fucking thing because the fucking military police will be down your fucking throat in two fucking seconds. You can take that motherfucking shit to the bank. Now, lastly, I have a commentary on the Koch brothers. Well, apparently one of the Koch brothers wrote an editorial in the New York Times or something bemoaning the fact that he was being attacked by people. Well, let me see, uh, Mr. Cocksucker, okay? How many times have, had, have you had your cock sucked by a fucking politician because you're giving them fucking money to get everything you want fucking done? Laws passed that are written by people who are on your payroll, no doubt, through ALEC, the American Legislative Ex Exchange Council, totally controlled by corporate America, writes the laws, gives it to Congress, it's signed. That's it. That's how it works. So what's wrong with the Koch brothers? They're all upset because people are attacking them because they're, they're uh, doing these various things like uh, disrupting elections, like uh, trying to uh, undermine democracy, trying to control the government, trying to pay off and bribe politicians, um, uh, doing blackmail, um, you name it, you name it. In, 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 what, in, in, in what do you offer? What do you offer? All you want is more fucking billions. You don't have enough now. No. You do not have enough. You have to oppose minimum wage going up. You have to oppose everything that would mean more money for regular, average, everyday people. And that's all you do. 
You spend your money and your time trying to prevent other people from having any kind of economic security and continue to fill your fucking vault with more fucking money, you fucking jagoffs. You're better off just shutting your mouth and let people who have a fucking sense about them fucking rail on you because you motherfuckers need to go drop in the fucking ocean. The last thing we need is more people like you, motherfucker. And I don't care if you own Georgia Pacific and all these other fucking corporations that have people working for you. Chances are they're not union. Chances are they make way less than they should be making. And chances are you're running skeleton crews anyway because, let's face it, at the end of the day, it's all about profit and profit that goes in your fucking pocket. So I have this to say to you, cock brothers. That's right, cock brothers. And that's the way I'm going to pronounce your fucking name because you are fucking cocks, both of you. And your fascist loving daddy, too, you motherfuckers. I have this to say you. Fuck you, keep your motherfucking mouth shut. And if you have the temerity to write a motherfucking editorial or a letter to the editor or whatever the fuck you're trying to fucking do to somehow make it seem like, oh, I'm a poor, I'm a poor billionaire and I can't take somebody attacking me because I spend all my money trying to keep you in a fucking ditch on the side of the fucking road. Fuck you, cock brothers. Fuck you and every fucking thing you ever touch. And I hope you all get fucking syphilis in the fucking brain and end up like feeble fucking morons that probably in a few years will be sterilizing again thanks to the fascist fucking Nazi bullshit that's re-emerging again. And that's the kind of shit you guys love. Yeah, just like your daddy loved Mussolini. Hmm? Yeah. So fuck you, cock brothers, and fuck everybody else that's gaming and getting off on this fucking system. But I'll tell you one thing right now, it's going to be more of the fucking same. That's why I say this to the voters out there. Please get a fucking clue. If you're out there chomping at the bit to vote for Hillary Clinton in 2016, you clearly are a fucking mental case. And if you're sitting out there chomping at the bit to vote for Ted, I'm a fucking lunatic, Cruz! Or Rand, oh, I'm a libertarian one day, I'm a hardline neocon the next, Paul. Or anybody that's going to be a GOP candidate or a Democratic candidate, if you are tromping at the bit, bit to vote for any of these motherfucking people, you are clearly fucking crazy and you have no right to fucking vote. So please, just stay the fuck home. Everybody boycott the fucking elections. Do not vote. But if you're one of the stupid ones that think your candidate's the one that's just gonna, he's gonna do it this time, by God, by gosh and by golly, well, then you're hopeless. So maybe you should drive your car into your local lake because clearly you cannot make any kind of rational decisions in your life. Thank you. Good night. And may Smokey rest in peace.